so coincident with my last video on repairing that uh, TDK cassette tape, I received my order from Tascam for a couple of their new 424 series tapes. It's a uh, Type 2 and a new offering. And the package was smashed, and inside the package, one of the tapes was smashed. The other one was okay, but this one was smashed. And uh, to Tascam's credit, of course, because they're a good company, they replaced it immediately. I think I had a replacement in a day or two, or two three days. But I thought I'd see, since I was repairing cassette tapes, <laughs> I thought maybe I'd see if I could fix this one and transfer it over to uh, another shell. Well, let's see what we can do. I bought these partially to support Tascam or any company that's manufacturing new cassette tapes, uh, but also because I have several of these 424 decks, and this tape is advertised as being formulated specifically for that 424 multi-channel uh, Porta Studio, and I have several of those in the stack to be repaired, and so I thought it would be a good thing to uh, uh, bias those for this tape and maybe do a a test of them and maybe make a video of that uh, and also to have it around in case anybody wants their deck bias to these tapes. I haven't ever used them yet. I don't know their quality but I think that'll make for an interesting video and assuming that this one's okay then it, this might be one to play with and do some uh, do some tests with. So there it is. It's not a very high quality shell. Um, I, I believe under the same circumstance that that TDK, the one that got melted, would have probably survived it just fine. Much higher quality material. But that's okay. It's, it's something that we have to deal with and I'm just happy to have new cassette tapes being made. And I really hope that they're a good, a good product. I hope they work out for uh, people needing new tapes and they're not just a boutique item that other companies will follow suit. Now, of course, these are not, these are uh, welded together cases or however they do that. Yeah, first glance here, it doesn't look too terribly bad. Everything's intact. Oh, now, what is this? What have we got here? That has nothing to do with the damage. That tape was wound like that. So, Tascam, that's a problem. If that would have been played or wound back or forward wound, that would have tightened down on there and put a crease in those layers that were inside of that. So, that's something to be aware of. I'll have to check the other one. I'm just going to use this Kurt Bester Christmas tape. It actually looks like a fairly high quality uh, shell and it's not one I'll listen to. So Kurt, thank you for sacrificing your lovely music to science. Uh, I didn't get it on film I don't think but I did see made in USA somewhere cast into the uh, either the case I, I don't I can't remember but I did 
I, I did think I see that, and that's one of the reasons I grabbed this one. Looks like a little bit better quality shell. Yeah, I think this is going to be just fine. Yeah, there's a little bit of a little bit of the plastic debris there I'm blowing off. I always forget to do this, but it's actually easier to uh, flip the tape over and do it from the other side. And then the little tabs help position the tape in the front there, but I always forget to do that. Wind it up there tight and it'll stay in position. screws back in. And again, back up and let the screw drop down into its thread. Prevent any possibility of uh, cross-threading it. Good. I think that'll be fine. So let's have a look, let's have a look at the uh, the tape itself here. I'll try to get it in a reflection. There's quite a bit of uh, striation in there, which I don't like. But like I said, I haven't tested this yet, so I don't know. But typically speaking. Uh, the flatter and shinier and smoother that is, the higher quality of the tape. I'm just grabbing a random uh, TDK here that's been run very, very many times. And you can see some of that in there too, uh, but it is a lot smoother and a lot shinier, even though it's still striated. And typically, that is not uh, helpful. Okay, so here's the replacement tape from TDK. Like I said, or from Tascam, it only took, uh, gosh, two three days. They were they were right on top. They shipped it out the day after I called. So, interestingly, it has exactly the same crush marks <laughs> as the original. It looks like somebody stepped on it. It's uh, it's crazy. Not quite as bad, but the same exact folding. So hopefully this one will be okay. And there's, there's how it gets packed tape gets thrown in the bottom and then a lot of paper put on top so I know Amazon does this but it's not a good way to pack things this time they got away with it it came in unscathed but gosh you know put a little bit of effort into the packing it's it's not that big of a deal to put the tape in the middle of the packing instead of on the bottom 
But anyway, this one's okay. So uh, thanks, Tascam, for replacing that. And uh, try to pack a little bit better. Thanks for watching.